made it all the way to Western Australia. This is the city of Wanneroo, and they have some of the best beaches in the world. This is Shorehaven, and I have the place to myself. We've got beautiful white sand here, and look at that water. It is so crystal clear, and it has some of the most amazing fish in that water, and that's what this area is about, all about the fishing. And this beach also has its own haunted shipwreck, just right off the coast there. They keep on trying to pull it out, and it keeps on coming back. And I think I know why. It's paradise here. I might have to tell Rosie I'll be a few days late. Every now and again, they let me out of the kitchen and they bring me to glorious places like this. Have a look at it. This has some of the freshest seafood in the world. I'm in the Mindari Marina, which is in Wanneroo, about 30 minutes north of Perth. And I'm gonna cook up a fantastic fish dish with some local jewfish and some local ingredients. You're gonna love this one. Now to start with, I'm gonna make a really quick and easy bread. And it starts with about two cups of self-raising flour. To that, I'm gonna add some baking powder, which will give it a little bit of lift and a sparkle. About half a teaspoon is what you need. Now to make it really, really Really tasty. I'm going to put some beer in there. This is local beer. Oh, listen to that. You want to stop right here and have a sip, but no, we've got to make our bread. A little pinch of salt in there as well, and then pour in some beer. About a quarter of a cup, maybe half a cup in there. Now with a spoon, you just mix it around nice and gently like this until it starts to come together. And when it gets to this stage like this, you can put it all together like that. See how it comes off the side? That's what you're looking for. And then it comes off the spoon really easily. And then it's just a matter of mixing it around like this and it's nice and soft, that's what you want. And once you've got it in a nice ball like this, the trick is to just pop it there and let it rest for about half an hour and then it will roll out nice and easily. Now I'm going to be cooking some jewfish and I've got some mates of mine just over there. They're going to take me for a little bit of a spin in the boat and they're going to give me some of the freshest jewfish in the world. I can't wait for this one. Oh, here we go. Travis, how hard is this life? You actually do this for a living. Yeah. You can't call this work, can you? Uh, not really, no. It's a, it, we're very fortunate to spend every day in the water. Uh, we, we love it. We wouldn't do anything else. Now, your company is called Best of Boat Worlds because you take people on private private tours? Yeah, we do customised charters to suit the client. Oh, I love that. That's that's what I want. My own boat, my own personalised boat with my own captain and fish finder. Yeah, yeah. So that's that's what we aim for, yeah. So, Travis, is this a great place for fish? Yeah, it's one of the best fishing places in the world, I'd, I'd say. Yeah, it's um, we're very, very fortunate. Now... Oh, I hope you kept something for me because I'm going to be hungry. I'm going to cook something nice. What have you got for me? Oh, we did actually. We got WA Jewfish, uh, which is only caught in WA. And uh, you can have a try of that scaled and gutted for you. Ready oh, to go. beautifully scaled and gutted. This is a great service. I love this place. Thanks, Travis. That's a fish. There you go. And the thing I love about it, it doesn't come in any packaging. It's scaled and gutted, ready to go. I'm going to show you a beautiful dish I'm going to cook with this. Really nice and simple. Look at that. Fresh fish. Nothing could be better than that. Perfect. We look forward to it. Now, once you've flattened your beer bread out, it's really simple. You just grab a pan and some extra virgin olive oil and get it going. Now, I'm using a really good non-stick pan and some Australian extra virgin olive oil. Very, very important. You grab your bread like this and then place it straight into the pan. It'll take about four to five minutes till it's nice and golden on both sides. I'll turn it over. It will puff up a little bit and it will have that beautiful beer flavour. Perfect for going with the Jewfish. Now, while the bread's cooking, I'm going to make a salsa that'll bring it all together using local ingredients of course. I've got some Jamunga olives which are fantastic and I've got some Trandos tomatoes as well. And these tomatoes are the smallest tomatoes in the entire world mm. and I would have to say the most delicious as well. And for some heat I've got some Blazing Saddles chilli. This is going to be a cracking salsa. It'll go really really well with the Jewfish. I love this dish.
fish is cooked beautifully. And I'll just take it off here. Local produce, local fish, local bread, local beer, everything coming together beautifully. Bit of salsa on there for colour flavour and give it plenty of zing and then of course some bread. A couple of pieces of bread on the side there, some of these snow pea shoots on the side to make it look beautiful and a bit of lemon. Have a look at that, it's a great little dish, cooked nice and quickly and I reckon my friends Tiet and Travis will be very, very proud of me. Look what I've done to their fish, turned it into a work of art. This is going to be delicious.